Welcome to Roswell United Methodist Church Online. My name is Marian Brown, one of the associate pastors, and this is our on-demand version of the sermon that will be preached on this Sunday morning. And please know that our Sunday services will be live streamed beginning at 9 a.m. for the contemporary service and 11.15 for the traditional service. If you would like to have the entire worship experience on demand, that will be available on Monday morning. We appreciate you being a part of our online community and we invite you to be active and participate through your giving. And so we thank you for your support and your generosity. Before we listen to this Sunday sermon, let's have a moment of prayer. Gracious and holy Lord, we ask that you remind us that wherever we are, we are on holy ground. And so may you help us make space. So may we receive a message that you have for us in this moment. Be in our hearts so that it's open. Be in our ears so that they are open and be a part of our lives so that we are open to receive a challenge and an invitation. Work within us now and all around us so that we may know your presence and we may feel it fully. Through a moment now of words and scripture, speak to us, amen. Let's listen to this Sunday sermon. Good morning, and welcome to worship. I'm Ben Mayfield, Minister to Students. And today with me is a special Sunday. I have Caroline, Lily, and Will. Welcome. This is Confirmation Sunday, and so therefore, we're talking about some things that uh, maybe people weren't expecting to talk about this morning, but they're pretty important as confirmation is this process of taking ownership of our faith. And so, I'll start with you, Caroline. What does confirmation mean to you personally? To me personally, confirmation is just a step of, that we take in our faith to grow with our connection with the Lord and really to just take ownership of our faith. Mm. Lily, what about you? Well, to me, I feel like um, it's like me taking responsibility of my faith instead of like my parents and me like deciding to move forward in my faith. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, that's absolutely right. Well, as a senior, you know, going through confirmation is a little different than a sixth grader, but still pretty incredible. What does it mean to you so far? Um, for me, I think it means a lot about growing deeper and learning more and then being able to apply that to other roles I have. Mm, absolutely. And Will, and this is you know, going to be asked to all of you, but through this process, was there a mentor or a guy that kind of helped you through this process? Yeah, my group leader was Jesse, and I think he helped a lot with being able to understand and dive deeper into the topics and be able to like learn what it truly meant to take ownership of that. Mm, absolutely. Lily, what about you? Um, well, so my group leader was Caroline and Emma, and they really like helped me understand what it meant to like take ownership of my faith by myself and they just like helped me understand all of this yeah that's great caroline has an ex-con which is one of our leaders uh, was there a person that helped you through this journey for me all the other ex-cons and our adult leader helped me i think it was really good to be able to hear from what they have to offer and what they've learned from their experience and it just was able to give the confirmants different perspectives and I think that was really cool. Yeah, it's great. I, I like that a lot. It's just interesting sometimes when you go through this process you don't know who exactly is going to be the leaders that like really pour into your heart. And through that process, Lily, I'll start with you, is was there something that has changed your perception of faith like, like has your faith grown or has it changed since you started this process until now yeah it has grown like it's made me like think of it different and like 
now I'm like growing it and learning more about it every day and like confirmation has really helped with that. Yeah, Will, what about you? Uh, for me, I think it helped me understand a lot more of who God is and the different ways that he's working through my life at the stage I'm in. Mm. I think it's helped me grow just getting to see all like the confirmants, um, get to grow in theirs. And even though I've already been through it once before, it's cool to go back and relearn about those topics that sometimes we often forget, but then to get to relate my life and get to share it with the other confirmants has been really cool. And it's helped me grow in a way. Yeah. Uh, uh, growth is incredible. And I definitely can know all three of you know that growth has happened. Was there a particular lesson or experience from the confirmation retreat that really stood out to you? It was like, oh, like this was, this was big for me. Uh, Caroline, we'll start with you. I feel like the lesson about grace and the three different types was really cool to just get to see that you can go forwards and backwards between those three types of graces. Um, but that's God's present in all of them. And you're going to go through those different stages at different parts of your life. And you're not always going to stay in one, but God's going to be through there throughout all of them and show grace towards you. And we're called to show grace towards others. Um, so we learn like about the apostles creed and the Lord's prayer. And while going through that, um, we dug deep into like what all of it meant and it really like has stuck with me and I feel like that was very good. Yeah, I heard whoever taught that lesson was pretty good with it. So, uh, <laughs> Will, what about you? For me, the lesson on sin and redemption stuck mm -hmm. with me a lot because as the point in my life that I'm at, there are mistakes that we make and it was great like learning that God does have grace for us and that even when we do fall short, we have a chance to change and be better mm, absolutely and with that well you kind of made me think too of you know with sin and redemption part of the redemption is knowing that you're not alone on this journey that people are there to support you and i know the youth ministry is pretty tight and we we take care of each other but the church here is also part of that taking care of you and taking care of all the confirmands how has the church or student ministry how have you seen them come support you into this faith journey Caroline? The church has helped me in my faith journey just with providing a community and a sense of fellowship and relationships with one another. I feel like that was something that I was seeking and found in the church was those relationships and those people that I felt cared for me and loved me and that I could talk to if something was going on. And they have the same beliefs as me, so that was really cool to be able to talk about my faith with others because that was something I felt that was lacking in my life. Yeah, yeah. Will? For me, it's been a lot also with community and being able to learn and see kind of life from other people's perspectives and the way that God's working can be different for us all, but it's still all the same love. I feel like they've really stood by me during my faith journey and helped me like grow and learn more about God and help me connect with Him on a deeper level. Mm. That's good. Has there been any new friendships or friendships that have gone deeper since starting this process? Lily? Um, so my friendships with like all my friends at church, it's grown deeper as we've made a bigger connection with others. And then with Caroline, we've just like really connected deeper through these weeks. Yeah, I want to give a shout out to your tribe. Go Ruben. Go tribe Ruben. Let's go. All right, Caroline, what about you? I feel like for me, my friendships and relationships with all the confirmants has grown a lot closer. Not only get to lead them in confirmation, but also in small groups. It's a, nice to be able to see them in the mornings, but also at night and just that they know that I'm always going to be there for them. Um, and it was just really cool to get to dive deeper into those connections and to continue to build them. And we will continue to build upon them even after the confirmation process. Yeah, so the Sunday night youth program, you're the small group leader for sixth grade girls. So it's like a double whammy of Caroline there. It's awesome. Well, what about you? Any, any friendships blossom? For me, I've grown a lot closer to a couple of my ex-cons who have been helping lead and got us. And then as well as the other confirmants in my group, I think those small times together like help us be able to just like catch up, but then also understand 
Yeah, absolutely. With those connections and, and making friendships and, and learning different parts of the faith journey, which is an incredible part of confirmation as you step out, what do you think this, this confirmation, how will it impact your faith journey going forward? Like a year from now, what do you think your faith journey will be because of this confirmation experience? If that makes sense. Uh, well, we'll start with you. I think for me, it's taken a big step in like consistency as well as like holding myself accountable in like the things I do and the way that I view the world. And then I think moving forward, I'll be able to like be able to lead others better as well as help myself learn more. Yeah, really? Um, so like, <laughs> um, throughout like my journey, it's like helped me grow and I feel like I will just keep growing as it goes on and there's always something new to learn. Yeah. I've also noticed with you, Lily, you have a lot of friends out there. And so this confirmation process has given you that community, you know, the tribe of Ruben, the other girls, the other boys and part of the confirmation. So going forward, I hope y'all like know that y'all can support each other. You know, do you feel supported by them? Hopefully. Yeah, I do. Like could, very could, supported. Yeah. Cause y'all are definitely a squad. Uh, absolutely. Caroline, what about you? I think just moving forward, the confirmation process, getting to see both sides of it as a confirmant and now as an ex-con, that it'll just help me to remember that, to reflect on those lessons that we've learned throughout the confirmation process when maybe I'm struggling, but to remind myself that, hey, God's going to do this for me. He's going to show up for me when I need it most, and that I can also continue to lead even outside of the confirmation process. It's not done here, um, even though it ends on Sunday, like officially they become confirm like the confirmation Confirmed. process ends, but yeah. just to continue to lead and continue to show my love for God and share it with the others. Absolutely. My last question for you, and this one's a great question because I feel like you can just share the wisdom. If there is one piece of advice or wisdom they could share with the whole congregation here, all the people here sitting right now, if there's some wisdom that you've learned this, this year through confirmation, what is that wisdom that has spoken to your heart that you can share today? I know you're all thinking right now, like, what is the thing? And it's okay if you're like, ah, oh, I should have thought of that earlier. Just whatever came to your heart, whatever came to your head first, just what is on there. Uh, Caroline, we'll start with you. I feel like if you're interested in taking part in the confirmation journey or if you feel called to, to take that step, but to also know that if you're not ready to fully commit to it yet, that's okay too. God's going to be there through each part of that and every decision that you make along that way. And, you know, if you want to take it, we're all going to be here and we're going to love you throughout it. But if you also feel like you're not ready, that's okay too. It's a big step in growing your faith. Um, so I think just to know that it's up to you, but God's going to be with you through with whatever it may be. Yeah, absolutely. Lily? Like, no matter what you're going through, like, God's always by your side. And, like, no matter if it feels like he's against you, he's always for you and, like, with you. And you also have your friends that surround you to, like, help you go through it, and you don't have to do it by yourself. Absolutely. Some wise words. Will, you got some wisdom right here. It's a hard act to follow. What do you got for us? I think the biggest takeaway that I would share to people is try and understand, like understand that God is moving and working in your life and that he's working in the people around you. And now that like we've gone through all these lessons and we spent weekends like learning and learning, taking that knowledge and being able to apply it to the other relationships you have and the ways that your life is going. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we appreciate all three of you and all the different confirmands out here who have done an incredible job. We have the tribe of Reuben, Dan, Benjamin, and Judah. Y'all been amazing. We love y'all so much. The ex-cons, the high school leaders, we appreciate you and the adults. And uh, if you're in church or even the next couple of weeks or months, if you see a confirmand, uh, just let them know how much we appreciate them stepping out on their faith journey. That it's been an incredible process because they too are part of this church and we're all one big family. So make sure you extend a hand and let them know. And as confirmands and ex-con, make sure you tell them, you know, what some of the things you learned in case they've forgotten. 
We appreciate y'all so much uh, for joining us here today. We hope to see you soon. And until next time, God be with you. Thank you so much for joining us online. It is a blessing to have the gift of technology to have sermon this way. We thank you for participating. And just a reminder, if you wanna see the live services, 9 a.m. on Sunday for contemporary and 11.15 Sunday morning for traditional services. And always we will have the full on-demand worship experience on Monday morning. And if there's ever a time that you would like to join us here at the physical location, we're located at 814 Mimosa Boulevard, Roswell, Georgia. We want to be connected with you. If you have a prayer request, please let us know by emailing pray at rumc.com. And we would love for you to be a part of our ministry through your giving. If you would like to support our campus and our ministries, you can do so at rumc.com slash give. And now hear these words of a benediction. Love without fear. Serve with commitment, and in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, go in peace. Amen.